Aloha! The purpose of this video is to give you some basic tips about how to conduct a telehealth session using best practices. First, let's talk about your environment. What is behind you when you're on camera? It's best to have no doors and windows behind you as they can be distracting for patients and could cause an interrupted session. A blank wall that is a neutral matte color works best. If you have any shelves visible, make sure they are not cluttered. You can always pull a screen or curtain across a door or wall to hide what's behind it. We want your surroundings to look professional. How is your lighting? Make sure what is seen on camera is well lit. No one wants to see a shadowy figure giving them information. Use extra table lights if necessary, since fluorescent overhead lights are not flattering. Try not to have a window or other light source directly behind you, as it will cause you to be backlit and make it difficult to see your face. How is your equipment set up? Just like an in-person visit, it's good to make as much eye contact as possible during a telehealth session. To simulate this, you may have to raise your laptop, tablet, or monitor with some books so that the webcam is positioned around eye level. Before each session, make sure that your face is relatively centered within the screen so that the patient is not just seeing the top half of your head. You may also want to use a noise-canceling headset if there might be any ambient noise around you. If there is a chance that someone might walk into your room while you are doing sessions, remember to put a sign on the door to not enter. Try to reduce sounds from others, including children, pets, cell phones, and other distractions as much as possible. It's always good to look professional, especially on camera. Limit wearing patterns as they can be distracting. Don't wear noisy, big jewelry, and check to see if there is any glare off your glasses. Many people who do telehealth also wear a lab coat during appointments. Much like an in-person appointment, please do not drink or eat during sessions. If you are going to be using your mobile phone or a tablet, make sure you are not holding your device in your hand as you will appear shaky to the patient. Do not move or walk around with your device to avoid having your head bob around. It's best to use a stand to make sure that you're stable within the video. Now, let's talk about patient interaction. Since most telehealth sessions are with people you have not met, make sure to introduce yourself and the purpose of the appointment. Some providers even put a sign on the wall behind them with their name. Then make sure to have the patient introduce themselves and tell you if there's anyone else in the room with them. Sometimes you can't see who else is off camera. Make sure the patient can see and hear you well. Ask them at the start of the session. Adjust the camera to maximize eye contact. Whether you're new at this, have done a lot of telehealth previously, or just logged out of this system an hour ago, before you start a new set of sessions, you should always test your connection to the platform. Make sure your internet connection, microphone, and video are working. It's better to troubleshoot before you're on with a patient than during a session. Ending the session. Remember to reiterate your recommendations to the patient and provide documentation for your records and the patient as needed. If you can, try to give the patient information about who to contact if they have additional questions. Finally, check that you have successfully logged out of the session completely. For more information, you can go to the National Consortium of Telehealth Resource Centers at telehealthresourcecenter.org and find the center that covers your state. This video was created by staff of the Hawaii Department of Health and Western States Regional Genetics Network in collaboration with the Pacific Basin Telehealth Resource Center, funded by the Health Resources and Services Administration.